I remember when I was uh, a student, I was working in, uh, I'd gone to undergraduate school in the South and uh, had had a, a, a somewhat traditional art education and then I went to live in Europe, mainly in France for a year and uh, I uh, was working there and I saw an American exhibition uh, in uh, Paris, uh, I think at the Museum of Man, which I love this museum because I have an anthropological background, and it was a Rauschenberg exhibition of a, uh, a series of work called Oracle. And I saw this work and I knew I had to get my ass back to America because none of this kind of work was being made. Uh, in Europe at the time. And uh, oracle are, are works that are a combination of different found objects and sound. And it's the first time I looked at the sculpture and all of a sudden it was animated. You know, like I'd look at the piece and there, there was water dripping from the pipe that was installed and it was sitting on top of a bathtub and the bathtub filled with water. And then you'd go to another one and it was an automobile car door and somehow the door would sort of swing open but it was just a car door. Uh, and after seeing this work, I realized that I really wanted to, to not have some of the conventions that existed in, in how I was looking at contemporary art. And I did end up going to school in, in America in the East, then and I had a very interesting uh, career that opened up uh, with a look very much to European art. A lot of my teachers were flexus who were European based. So, but of a system of work I didn't know about. And uh, that was the big change. And also I was very close to New York. And I could really see contemporary art being made and even meet the artists. The uh, exhibition in January is not new work. Uh, it's older work. I work with several galleries in New York, and this is a six works from uh, the late 60s and 70s, and they're, uh, uh, they're three baobabs, I call them, which is like the drawing behind me, uh, which are based on almost a golden section of uh, architectural uh, divisioning. And uh, there's several of those pieces. There are other pieces that work directly with different kinds of uh, energy of light, like neon light, incandescent light, where one light source burns out or kills another light source. Uh, and so it's going to be these, these works, some small in scale and some quite large in scale.